nice. Mm-hmm. It's like fucking like three dollars at fu- or four dollars from Trader Joe's. What? Yeah, it's nice. Oh my god. Pinot Noir. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. What's up? Mm. Hey dudes, it's Aaron and Nicole. This is dude. That's fucked up. The podcast. <laughs> you know it. We're drinking wine. <laughs> Yeah, I said it. We're drinking wine. Yeah, it's fucking Friday night. We don't care. So what? So we're getting down. We're at my house right now, so <sighs> anything's possible. I have I, I have a whole fucking case of wine, so oh you don't know what's about to happen. Okay, I was just coming over here. My friend Sandra dropped me, our friend Sandra yeah. dropped me off, and she's like f- getting Greek food from a liquor store. It's highly questionable. Dicey. Listen, Real dicey. I'm not eating any of that, but- she was like, oh, do you want to get some wine for Aaron's? I was like, Aaron has wine. Aaron has a full bar. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to bring anything. And But I asked to be polite. Oh, I mean, you you never need to worry yeah. about showing up. I knew it. Without, I knew I didn't need to. Yeah. yeah. You, but I still asked because I was like, well, I'm like, I know you have, I was like, I know you have wine, but do you need any Greek food from the liquor store? <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm, you know, actually I could have used some, I, I've, uh, I could use some, some movement, uh, these days. Oh, I was going to say, do you need some diarrhea from the diarrhea store, but you just need some, uh, <laughs> I just need to drink more constipated? water. Truly. Uh, no, no, no. It's just like, you know, you just, you're like, man, I just, I know there's more in there. Come on. I know. I never feel cleared out. Yeah. I really just need to like do a lot more fiber and more water well oh yeah more water more today roughage. today i um we had lunch and then i and like Those i think fried shrimp, shrimp tacos aren't uh conducive to moving things along if no unless unless things get real slippery real fast yeah yeah <laughs> but i got i did get a boba tea and that Ooh. Literally every time I get it, I don't know what it is. By the time I'm getting home, driving from home from there, I'm like, ooh, there's might be a situation in the elevator. Oh dear. <laughs> but it was fine. But it's never like butt pee. I don't know. It's like it just like comes out very quick. <laughs> it's like a It's a it's a boba. <laughs> a, a boba move. Boba movement. It's a BM, a boba movement. <laughs> yeah. Everything comes out boba, looking boba butt. <laughs> I get boba butt real bad, and everything just comes out like little boba BBs. <laughs> boba butt, boba 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 butt, boba, boba butt, boba boba boba, boba, boba butt. <laughs> Turn around and stick, stick it, it out. out. Show me what you got. <laughs> what flavor? I don't know. <laughs> oh God. Well, we're starting this episode off real, real silly. Um, I don't want to say it's gonna get worse, but. It's going to get worse. <laughs> but Aaron will say it. So. Oh. Well, uh, the only business I have is, you know what? Just go to our website, dtfupodcast.com. Great. You'll be able to do a plethora of things. You know what? Let, we'll let you discover Ooh. what's all there. Choose your own adventure, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, uh, a boba venture, perhaps? <laughs> don't get too... Bobalicious. <laughs> I don't know. You want to shit yourself on the way home from uh, getting a boba? Great. Just, you know, maybe get a small boba, not an extra large. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Go for the 20 ounce. I don't know what they do. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything fucked up? Or do we have any more business or is that it? No. Um, I, why did I think of 20 ounces to freedom? Which it kind of is if you're constipated. It's 40 ounces to freedom, but... Well, but it's 20, 20 ounces if it's a boba. It's true. 40 ounces, that's... <laughs> A nightmare. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> 40 ounces to dehydration and a possible IV. Um, I guess that's like a good way to prep for like a colonoscopy. A colonoscopy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be so much more enjoyable. Oh, can you imagine? No. Uh, They're like, go get this boba tea. Yeah. From the specific boba place. And like a medicine man gives it to you or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. You're like, come in the back. What's, yeah, like, what's your sign? Yeah. What's your... <laughs> <laughs> Let Hold me this check crystal. your birth chart real quick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What time of day were you born? Hold this crystal. I'm going to... Photograph your aura, and then we're gonna decide what tea you have, and God. then it just one shit clears it all out. That's what I'm looking for in my life. Me too. Let's open a boba place like that. Oh my god. Well, I don't. I'm not qualified. <laughs> Who is really <laughs> to make what this is? 
maybe a proctologist. Mm, well, not even then, because they're not, a, I mean, they might be a tea person, but we don't you know. You never know. Well, that's the biz. Um, anything fucked up for you this week? Um, I had something. I was just going to say I finished Midsummer. I don't think I ever talked about it. Not a fan. But we're just going to move on from that. Okay, okay. Because it, I just didn't think it was scary. It's and, not scary. Oh, okay. I thought it was supposed to be a scary movie. <laughs> no, it's... It's uh, it's weird. It's fucked up. Oh, okay. I, it's supposed to be like... Oh, fucked. And there was fucking in it. Like, weird fucking. Holy shit. Like, with ritualistic like, fucking with a red ass dick. W- <laughs> Oh, I don't even remember oh, seeing I, the dick. Oh, it's there. Oh my god. Ew, that's a, upsetting. And also like everyone was like holding hands and it was there was weird and like chanting and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But whatever, if you're into that, good on you. I was not expecting it is what I'm saying. That's the part that stood out to you? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean it is pretty intense. The weird fucking. <laughs> I mean there's The like old lady who's like on the end. Yeah. And she's like, Ugh, and you're just like, oh no. And then they're like singing together. It's like weird. Yeah. I don't know. I, also, yeah, I mean, well, also the end is like upsetting. Yeah. But also I was like, uh, by then I was just like, whatever. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about. Okay, okay. What? Okay. Sorry. Literally I was driving up to this neighborhood. Okay. Just talking to my friend, blah, blah, blah. And like this weird intersection, there's like a bunch of bikes and a man who... It is looks down on his luck and he has like a blanket on. He has like yeah. stuff with him. He's carrying all his stuff. Um, goes to hit the um like button to cross the sidewalk. Yeah. But he used his foot, his naked foot. Oh. Okay. He used his foot. Why? I don't know. And it was like Oh well, I mean he's carrying a bunch of stuff, like No, he had a free hand. Okay, well. But this goes to show you, you can't, like, you have to prepare yourself. You have to look out for yourself. Wash your hands. Oh, my God. People are out here using their feet. They might be using their dicks. Like, we don't, we don't when know. we don't see it, we don't know what's happening. No. People might use their butts to, like, push a button. We don't know. People are using all these different body parts. So I'm saying, wash your hands, carry hand sanitizer, maybe, like, Use your elbow. Use your elbow, the back of your hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you don't know what what people are doing out in the world. And, you know, just also be courteous, too. Like, yeah, don't, don't use, use your, your butt. Na- don't use your butthole to push a button on the elevator or, you know, I don't know. I would think that goes without saying, but apparently all bets are off. All bets are off sometimes. Like, <sighs> Some and it's people like, just want the world to burn. You uh, know, they just, yeah. they, they are, they want chaos. They want... Yeah. They don't give a fuck. I don't know. They want um, people to get worms. I don't know. I I just like if you're pressing a button, like is your butthole the best body part to use? No. I, re- I would imagine the aim is poor. What's that? Like your aim? With oh, I the thought, I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what body part is the aim is poor? <laughs> What's an Amos Porn? <laughs> oh my I god. It it's like your buttholes or your brown eye, aka your Amos Porn. It is like a pore. It's very open. And sometimes it's dirty and clogged. <laughs> you get a blackhead? Yeah. Oh man. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well. Anyway, that's just my, I don't know, story. Okay, well. Do you have a fucked up thing this week? Uh, it's not really, I mean, it's kind of fucked up. So mm. I'm going to my great grandpa's, uh, memorial tomorrow mm-hmm. and I'm going to see some family I haven't seen in a very long time. So it'll be really, it'll be nice, but probably a little awkward. Um, mm. and you know, I, my great grandpa was 99 years old when he passed away Wow. a few weeks ago and, um, he, he lived a long time. He's a Amazing. great, a great man, Aww. and I'll miss him. And I'm yeah. really sad that I didn't get to see him before he passed away. But um, he was in a veteran's home, and um, I, you know, I had just moved Mo- here. Yeah, and I so you were here like a week, and all, yeah. All that is to say, go see your grandparents mm. if you have great grandparents. They're not going to be here much longer. Yeah, you know, go go spend time with your family. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if they're cool, like. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, if they suck, fuck that. Yeah. Dude. Make your own family. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I, um, I'm going to go see some family tomorrow, and it's going to be weird. And yeah. But also really nice. I'm going to see my Aunt Sandy. Oh, legend. Love Aunt Sandy. Yeah. Totes legend. Oh, yeah. my God. So We know. she. We've talked about her. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Anyway, so. Um, Aunt Sandy. Yeah, that's the only thing fucked up. Um, I'm really lucky that uh, Jack had a great, great grandfather. Yeah, and he has a great grandfather. And he has a great grandfather, like on this planet. That's wild. Existing while he was existing. Super that's cool. cool. Um, you know, I just, that's the silver lining of teenage pregnancy, mm. <laughs> I think. <laughs> My grandmas and mm-hmm. my mom, you know, having me. Having kids younger having versus young, like yeah. when our generation's having them, which is a bit older. Yeah, 35. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, cheers. Cheers. Aww. Aww. Okay. Also, your grandpa, grandpa's going to be there. Yeah, I'm going to see I my grandpa. Oh he's my the best. He's the best. Larry. We're friends on Facebook. He's the best. He's so cute. Oh. He's so great. Also, I just like feel so great every time I see him because he's always like, Nicole! And I'm like, oh my God, hi! He's the best. Yeah. He's, so, he's like just such a grandpa. He's so cute. Yeah. yeah. My gra- We all know my grandpa's like living his second life and it's a little weird, so I don't really have that vibe anymore, but... You can you can borrow my grandpa. Mm-hmm. He's... My grandpa is a grandpa to... Like he has adopted like yeah. mi- multiple friends. Oh my God. Yeah. Of ours. Mm-hmm. So... Grandpa Larry. Yeah. He's the best. All right. Grandpa let's get Salinas. into this. Yeah. We need to really transition. We're taking a hard right turn out of grandpa stuff because we're going to talk about fucking. And it's like. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> rough segue. <laughs> like, and we're not talking like daddies and granddaddies. We're talking like. Ooh. Like, we don't know. We're talking ghost dad. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Fuck. Is Bill Cosby still alive? <laughs> He's alive, but he's not living, you know what I mean? I'm forced, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, okay, you guys. We're still in spooky season here. Um, mm-hmm. We're talking about ghosts oh my today. God. Yep. We are both non-believers, mm-hmm. um, but that's okay. Whatever. We're what not... I, yeah, other people believe, and yeah. that gives us some fun shit. Yeah, we... You know, I believe in energy mm-hmm. and, like, you know, vortexes and stuff that... There's definitely stuff that cannot be explained, but for me, it's like if I hear a weird noise, I'm like, oh, it's probably a fucking critter, critter, or yeah, yeah something logical, Possum like in your trash or something. Yeah, and I don't, I don't get scared. Um, I mean, I might get scared that it's like an actual human being trying to break into my house. Oh yeah, but like or I'm like not, a rabid animal. I don't care. Oh okay. Yeah, I don't care about that. Um, I'm just like I'm more afraid of humans than I am of supernatural things mm-hmm. so um milky's in my suitcase <laughs> yeah milky's in your suitcase <laughs> all the equipment that nicole had to bring over for a recording yeah was in i brought in a suitcase, suitcase. <laughs> and now and anytime he sees a suitcase he's just love like it. he's in it i love it it's very cute so, i'm gonna get a picture at some point it's be cute um okay so i don't know this time of year though i will say is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Like, you know how people are psyched for Hallmark Channel, Christmas movies, mm-hmm. all that shit. I'm psyched for all the channels that have random Halloween movies on. Like, oh my, all day yeah. long. Mm-hmm. That's my shit. Yeah. Um, like, I love the fact that I can land on, you know, fucking AMC or yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's just Halloween or you know, Nightmare on Elm Street yeah. or Rosemary's Baby or The Omen or Hocus Pocus or Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. Like all these movies I fucking love. Anything that's like spooky adjacent. Spooky adjacent. And there's so many movies like that. I mean, Ghost. Ghost isn't even like a that scary was a, movie. It was but on. like Oh, really? I was watching it. It's not even a scary movie. Like you wouldn't be like, this is a horror film. But like it's... There's it's a ghost in it, so they're like, put it in the Halloween yeah. category. Yeah. yeah. Like, Ghostbusters isn't Super scary. Natural. Yeah. Ghostbusters is a comedy. True, it's like comedy. Yeah. But it's like about ghosts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. But speaking of Ghostbusters, so mm-hmm. this is like, this is my attempt at a segue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you remember in the movie Ghostbusters, part one, um, when Dr. Raymond Stance, aka fucking Dan Aykroyd, mm-hmm. is having a dream where he's getting a beach from a hot ghost lady do you remember that you don't okay Uh i've seen ghostbusters way too many times okay as a child as an adult Uh uh-huh everything in between 
Um, okay. Well, for people who know what I'm talking about, uh-huh. there's a scene in this, or maybe you haven't seen Ghostbusters. Yeah. So, so tell us. I'll tell happened. you. Someone gets a beach and it's Dan Aykroyd. Well, so they're doing all this ghost busting and they're seeing, go- <laughs> and so it's like seeping into their psyche. Right. And so this is like the culmination of all the busting they're doing. Oh my God. He's ghost busting a nut. He's like, ghost literally. busting a nut for sure <laughs> in his dreams. So he, uh-huh. he's having this dream where this woman is like floating above him and I never noticed it when I was a kid because I was like too embarrassed. First of all, it's a yeah. very awkward scene. I'm okay. I'm having like I'm I'm seeing what you're describing. Yeah, but I don't. I think I blocked out the sexual part. It's or I didn't understand it as a kid. Maybe it's. I mean, it's pretty in your really? face okay. because he. Okay, in the scene, he the the lady's floating above him. He's in his bed and he's just like frozen, right? He I, can't move or something? Yeah, he's just like sitting yeah. there and he's like, whoa, fucking lady ghost. Yeah. And then his belt buckle unbuttons <gasps> and his pants unzip and you see his like tidy whities underneath and you're just like, oh, his pee-pee is about to be exposed, <laughs> be, be, I, which this ghost lady is doing it. Oh my God. Um, and so it's just like super awkward. But do you see hands or just no, like- No, no, it's it ghostly. Just, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, so I'm like watching it as an adult like a few years ago. Mm-hmm. And I noticed for the first time that he's wearing a fucking Napoleon jacket in the dream (laughs) with like shoulder tassels and shit. Oh my God. And he's wearing it with pleated khakis. No. (laughs) And there's tidy whities underneath. And it's just like, what is this dream? It's so weird. And then I find out that he like devoted like a whole storyboard to this entire scene that was like way more elaborate. The director? No, or- Dan Aykroyd. Oh my. Yeah. He's like, he like read the script the first time and then he's like, well, I have he, some ideas. He helped, he helped like, he was a huge, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like part of the production of. That's weird. Yeah. He and Harold Ramis. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, R.I.P. R.I.P. So all that is to say, it just makes the scene so much worse. It's like so <laughs> awkward. And Wait, um, why is it worse? Because like, first of all, it's like super like weird and awkward. Because it's like a scene that like probably didn't even need to be in the no. movie, first of all. Absolutely and then not. like also they're like making it into this like slow like it, like giving it a gravitas that it like definitely didn't need yeah because they're kind of doing like a, a like um medley of like all the you know shit that they're doing because of they're so busy with all the ghosts and stuff and yeah it's like you know and then behind, in the background is the Ghostbusters theme song and a, and a line from the song is Boston makes me feel good <laughs> and you're just like well <laughs> What? Yeah, dude. That's a line in the song. Do 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 do. Yeah, uh huh. Ba 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 busted. Ba ba makes me feel. There's something strange in the neighborhood. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters. And then it like goes on and on, and you see. Yeah. And then it's like it goes into the bridge, and then after the bridge, it goes. Busted makes me feel good. The breakdown, you know, and it's just like whoa. Oh, it's like yeah, 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 yeah. Buster makes me feel good. Buster makes me feel good. Yeah, it's like one of those ad libs where, like, oh my god, that's what I wanted to talk about. How obsessed I am with the high women. Oh, I need, yeah. Oh my god, I need to get. Anyway, we're just gonna have to move on. Okay, yeah. So, but. This is all to say, all of this yeah, 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 yeah. is to say that mm-hmm. people actually have experiences with fucking ghosts and that's what we're talking about today. And we're not saying like with fucking ghosts, like, oh, like fucking ghosts, get out of here. We're saying with fucking, like doing doink, sex. Doink, doink, with like bedoinking ghosts. Yeah, like, <laughs> cool word. <laughs> <laughs> like ghosts are... Out here trying to sex on people. <laughs> and <laughs> apparently it's good for some people. No, for like everyone I for read every, about. Yeah, it's like, they're like this is the best sex I ever had with a ghost. And I'm like, good for you, honey. I'm like, you, you should move to the haunted mansion. Yeah. <laughs> Get or, you some every night. Or like, whoa, that's rough that you've never had a, well, that's rough, a good yeah. fuck. And yeah, that's rough. It's just 
now it's a ghost. I have some theories. I do too. We'll okay. get to those at the end. Okay, though. good. Yeah. Um, okay, but let's talk about like who is having these experiences. So a lot wait. of people oh are my having God. like real real ass people. Real ass people are having like Dan Aykroyd obviously is one yeah. of them. Um, Anna Nicole Smith. She had an experience apparently. Oh my god. Lucy Liu. Oh my god. My girl, Lucy Liu. Lucy Liu, fuck off. I know. That I know. I know. That bothers me. Well, Kesha. I know. I went down a Conan rabbit hole. I watched like the interview where she talked about this. About fucking a ghost? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I didn't watch it, but I saw it. Like, okay, the here's fight. the thing. Like, we know she's had some like oh. drug and psych problems and like was really fucked around by yeah. that like producer or whatever. Yeah. And I think this was during like the height of yeah. all of that stuff. And she did, she seemed a bit manic, like, when she was in this interview. But she was talking about fucking a ghost and how good it was and how it was, like, the best ever. And I was like, oh, man. But the whole time I was just thinking, oh, man. I know she's, like, not herself in this. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, be on the side of this or, like, think I'm just always on Kesha's side, you know? Like, whatever she needs, whatever she wants. Totes. But, I mean, I'm like, do I believe this? No. Yeah, I don't think so. Mm. She said she went to the bone zone with a ghost. That's what she said on Conan. Oh, dear. I was like, oh, no. Kesha. Kesha. This is when she still had the dollar sign for the S. Oh, is it gone? I think so. Oh. Why change that? That's so good. I thought it was good. Clever. Is it? She had like, but she had a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah. It was that time. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, there's a whole channel, though, that's dedicated the tr- or a whole show that's dedicated to this on the travel channel called ghostly lovers and this is where people like go on the show and talk about their ghost sexy times did you watch it no i want to i mean i, I want to see like what i the- want to see the reenactments oh <laughs> i want it what, do you think there's ghost porn oh my god we i we should have searched this before fuck I bet there is. There has to be. Yes, there is. And it's called The Entity. Ooh. The Entity. Entity. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. Um, and then the most recent, I think, or like the most newsworthy person in recent memory that's been out there talking about having sex with ghosts is this British woman. Yeah, the person making the most noise. Yeah. Yeah. The, this, And you guys might remember, she like did a bunch of interviews last year in 2018 um, where she like went on a bunch of morning shows and shit and, and I guess they're British morning shows because I don't, I don't know if she came to America or not, but anyway, I don't know. it made worldwide news. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, her name's Amethyst Realm and she was r- rolling around claiming she'd slept with at least 20 ghosts and then she, like, she'd already been out there talking about that and then she went on the news to announce that she was engaged to a poltergeist. I just... Oh my God. It's a lot of information. It's a lot of um, words making a sentence (laughs) that I don't know. (laughs) um, It's a lot of um, opinions that mean nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So I watched watched one of her interviews on one of the morning shows and like she seems like a really nice person and um, I don't know what her experiences are. And, you know, whatever she's going through, I don't know, but, um, that's cool. But then, (laughs) (laughs) but (laughs) what do you really want to say about it? Well, then she started (laughs) saying that she hopes to have a ghost baby with the ghost she's engaged to. Mm. And it just turns into a real hard yikes for me (laughs) because, well, that's just not how having a baby will works oh my god you know but but how would we know if she had a ghost baby (laughs) so i don't know that's okay but like okay i don't believe anything she says also uh i'm like this lady is kooky but she has an explanation for everything which is the part that impresses me yeah because it's like a a real it's a real fully Full-fledged fantasy. Yeah. because But also she was talking about... So she doesn't just want to get pregnant by her ghost daddy. Okay. She wants to... She thinks 
that women who have phantom pregnancies, which is yeah, like its own it's a thing, thing, yeah, are actually pregnant with a phantom. Like they have been impregnated by a ghost, but because they don't embrace the idea of like being impregnated by a ghost and carrying a ghost baby they don't carry it to term so they like essentially miscarry the phantom baby and she thinks that when she has a phantom pregnancy she because she's like on board she will carry it to term it's just a lot of yikes man it's like too much and i and it's like one thing when you're like, yeah, dude, I'm like engaged to like a ghost and he fucks me good. And you're like, good, you know what? Something's going on upstairs, but good for you. But when it's like edging into like this. Well, she's creating this whole other like explanation for and rationale that's outside of everything. Yeah. You know, and it's but like, like, okay. Okay, this is the thing that bothers me the most because in I watched like a couple of those interviews over the years, mm-hmm. like because it was like first it's like oh she just has an Australian ghost boyfriend and like they fucked in a they joined the Mile High Club and they like fucked in on the airplane because he snuck on the airplane with her and she didn't even realize. Oh, he it. snuck on the airplane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How hard did well, he? Well, he didn't buy a ticket, Aaron. Okay. <laughs> TSA TSA just totally (laughs) fucking sleeping on the job here. No, she's just like asleep because it's like an overnight flight and then she just feels someone on the ground look up at her and go, (laughs) oh, this isn't my seat like you did. (laughs) But only the ghost is eating her poos. (laughs) Like, this isn't my (laughs) poos. And then she's like, yeah, it is. (laughs) I'm in 29C, baby. Oh, my God. Anyway, they uh, fucked in the bathroom. And the lady, oh, my God. The lady so interviewing her was like, <laughs> she was like, why'd you even need to go into the bathroom if no one could see what was happening? And I died. And she was just like, oh, for privacy. And I was like, that makes sense. But also, yeah, she's. I guess you don't want to be writhing around in your chair by yourself. But, like, how long did it take in the bathroom? Like, did somebody think she was taking a shit? Or was it, like, a a longish pee? Yeah, like, come on. I don't know. I don't either. The (laughs) dynamics and the, you know, just logistics of this are just... It's It's, it's a lot. But you know what? Hey, good for her. I mean, like... Like, at some point... They're turning her into entertainment and she's like well, on the show and she's like willingly going on here and like talking about this stuff. But that's the thing that I don't like about this whole situation yeah, is that like, like what's she, I think she earnestly has this like, you know, belief and whatever that's her yeah. shit. And if it's not hurting anybody yeah. and it's her, her kink, it's her thing. Fine. But True. when she goes on the shows, like all the 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 hosts are very like incredulous to the point of being like um, condescending. It is condescending, and it's a little cringy and and ex- exploitative. So yeah. it's kind of it's it's yucky. Okay, you're right. Wait, I also I will say I still stick behind my opinion, which is an interesting opinion. I think she's kind of batshit, but also. <laughs> It's not hurting anyone, so good for you. That's what I think. Yeah. It's like you don't – you're not like persecuting people because you think there's a devil and like a, whatever. Fair. You know what? It's like uh, it, this literally harms no one. Yeah. And like you get to have some big O's from it. Cool. Good on you. Like – But maybe like eh. don't go on TV all the time about it. Well, it's like it's also like any, it's weird. It's just like anything – else like if you're fucking like somebody with a big dick like I don't need you to go on a morning show and talk about it (laughs) like yeah like that's cool if you're getting your butthole diddled and you love it it's like you don't need to tell everyone you can you can yeah Yeah. you most certainly can true and like you can be like this is what I like this is what I think everyone should like but not everyone's gonna like it right don't yuck somebody's yum that's the thing and I think there's so many people who are getting so much yum from this that I'm, God bless. But you also, get your yum, but I say yum. But also, don't go on morning shows yeah. to talk about it. Because that's rough. the yucky part. It's rough. It's yeah. rough. It's rough. 
Um, okay, so take it to am- the bone zone. Am- amethyst <laughs> realm, Ruby Road, whatever the fuck her name is. Um, <laughs> her aside, <laughs> there is. I I was like reading about all these people who have had these experiences, and I'm like, what is the ding dang difference between this ding dong. and my sex dreams about Jake Gyllenhaal? <laughs> is there a difference? There has to be. Do you know what the Donnie Darko house is over here? Yeah. Don't. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's why you moved here. Yeah. Like, Are your sex dreams more vivid now that you're, like, so close to it? Uh, yes. Like, you're at the, like, mm. opening of it. It's like the hell mouth yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of sex dreams. You're, like, so close. My vagina just, like, links up with the wormhole <laughs> from Donnie Darko. <laughs> it just like is magnetically pulled into yeah. the perfect like yeah yeah, yeah 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 um anyway so difference between sex dreams and this phenomenon mm-hmm. is that people are mainly people are claiming to be awake like fully oh right versus oh, like in a dream versus in a dream like yeah. they're not dreaming they're yeah. they're lucid and having this experience and they yeah. feel like physical presences yeah while this is happening it's not just like a feeling in your nether regions it's like you feel like a a weight on top of you and and like penetration and yeah in some cases yeah so it's like it's intense um but this so this whole thing this whole sitch Mm -hmm. um is called where you're having where you're in a ghost and you're having sexual experiences with them is called spectrophilia. Oh. So spectrophilia is classified as both a phenomenon and a fetish. Oh. So, and it's depending on how the term is used. Um, so if it was a case where an actual sexual encounter is experienced, it's the phenomenon. Like you're not thinking about it. It just happens to you. Oh, quote, okay. happens to you. Right. Um, Whereas like a fetish is like you're thinking about it to like get off. Right. So when it, it's... It's categor it's categorized as one of many possible paraphilia, which is extreme sexual arousal caused by atypical objects, uh, <gasps> situations, or persons. Spectrophilia means that the sexual attraction to, is to the ghosts or spirits, or like your idea of the ghosts or the spirits. Oh. Um. So, and then also, <laughs> spectrophilia can be as a term could be used to describe people who experience sexual arousal from images and mirrors, which is like your own image in a mirror. (laughs) I don't know. Like maybe like see a reflection of like, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. Like you see a reflection of like a bust of like Benjamin Franklin. And you're like, Oh (laughs) fuck. Yeah. But like, if you just looked straight on to the bus, not, it wouldn't do it for you. It has to be reflected in a mirror. Maybe. Yeah. Well, it's like a Medusa situation. I don't know. No, but that makes sense because it's like people watch themselves with like mirrors above their bed in the seventies. That's true. That's true. And still to this day, and to this day, I'm sure (laughs) it depends on where you are. The playboy mansion. And for sure. Maybe centuries ago where they were looking at themselves in the mirror. Yeah. It's like, but that I feel like has to do with like seeing yourself. Like, yeah, yeah, the mirror thing is interesting. Mm -hmm. Like, like where it's like not you doing it, it's like a different image that's being like reflected. Right. Wow. Interesting shit. Also, that's like, I don't know. That's like, <sighs> like Bloody Mary. Just kidding. Say, yeah, Bloody Mary, <laughs> or like a vampire, but they don't have a reflection, mm, dude. So that gets complicated. There, this is like where it goes into all these. The fact that so this is the fact that this is so deep in our psyche. I think it's like one of those tropes that have been downloaded into our brains. Like, you know, when we have, like, we talked about sleep paralysis, yeah, the yeah. things that are, that a lot of people see. Mm, that are subconscious, that like, are subconscious projects. projects. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's all very similar across time and oh. culture and whatever. Mm-hmm. So I think it's just like a human brain yeah. deep in our psyche. So I don't know. It's interesting. And maybe it's like centuries of like, repression of like sex and and I this is like edging on a theory I have later but like masturbation and Mm -hmm. stuff and it's like oh like making this seem like it's something other than what it is right to like excuse it or justify it or whatever yeah it's interesting yeah um yeah but 
people, a lot of people that have this happen to them, it's very intense. It's very real to them. Um, and it's, it's like, I don't know. It's, it's a lot. It sounds like it's a very intense experience. It's not just like a yeah. dream. I don't know. Okay. You know, it's weird that like, it's weird that like her ghost boyfriends, this lady, uh-huh. Amethyst, were like nondescript. Cause also like, let's say I had a ghost boyfriend. I would hope it would be like a really hot historical figure oh, or yeah. like someone that like, I mean, or like someone who's like very sexual. Well, that's what it sounds like. The dude that she's with is like, but, he doesn't, but it's not like Mark Antony or whatever. But, like, she doesn't know what he looks like. She just has a feeling oh, about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, she's, yeah, like, yeah, he's yeah. like, his every, his presence Because they just is, communicate with, like, energy. It's, yeah, like, yeah, not... Yeah, yeah, They don't, like, talk. Yeah. If I had a choice and I could fuck, like, a famous ghost, I would. I'd Who'd date... Who'd you fuck? Oh, what I, ghost would you fuck? Oh, my God. That's... Not Roy Orbison. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say... Why? Why did that just pop in your head? I don't know. He popped into my head, and then I was like, "Not him." You know who's fucking you in it? Roy Orbison. <laughs> <laughs> that was him making his presence known. <laughs> He's like, "I'm gonna fuck you tonight," and I'm like, "Roy Orbison, no, thank you. I'm okay, actually." But what if it's yeah. like super good? What if it's like young? Is young Roy Orbison hot? I was just thinking young Elvis, but I think. Like, he'd come to me as, like, sweaty old Elvis. And he's like, you're too old for me. I'm like, he would. <laughs> yeah, I am. And he, and also, like, for some reason, I feel like he wouldn't take off his, like, one-piece suit. Mm. I feel like he'd just, like, zip, unzip it and pull his dick out. Totally. And I'd be like, oh. Elvis. I hate this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Who would you fuck as a ghost? Oh, man. I don't know. JFK, it? maybe. But I wouldn't mm. want ghost herpes. Ooh, what kind of ghost STDs? Do you, what kind of ghost TDs do you think you could get? I think you could definitely get like typhoid fever or something like something old, that's been eradicated. Something old timey. Smallpox. <laughs> Whatever everyone had on the Franklin expedition, you're getting that in your definitely tuberculosis and smallpox. I mean, tuberculosis is not eradicated, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, just for no yeah. reason. Uh, I'm getting consumption. Yeah. Fucking bubonic plague. It's like, Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like fucking <laughs> spooge bonic plague. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Wait, who'd you fuck? I don't know. <sighs> Probably like some hot silent film actor or something Ooh. like, you mm-hmm. know? <gasps> yes. Who? Who's the guy in Gone with the Wind? Clark Gable? Was yeah. he hot? I, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably him. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't even know if he was hot. Um, yeah, like Cary Grant or something. Like a young Jack Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was cute. Who? Uh, ooh, I would fuck... Um, James Dean? Yeah, I'd fuck James Dean. Yeah. Um, mm. Jimi Hendrix? Yeah, for sure. Oh my god, I would catch everything from that man. Oh yeah, give it to me. <laughs> Let me stand next to your fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your foxy lady. Um, who am I thinking of? We'd smoke ghost purple haze. Ooh, bitch. We'd get fucking ghosted. Go- that ghost perp. <laughs> <laughs> that ghost perp. That's real. It is. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. I don't even smoke that much weed. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Who's on this podcast right now? Seth Rogen, is that you? I, do you know what movie uh, <laughs> I watched Longshot. It's so good. Is it? And oh, just, no. I saw that. It's very good. It's, oh, fucking Charlize Theron is so hot. Okay. Everyone thought that movie was bad because I think people were like, oh, why are they making another movie where like a hot lady falls in love with a like, doofy dude? It wasn't even about that. No. It was so good. I liked it. I it was very it. funny. Yeah. There's All so right. many. There's so many. Yeah, 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 yeah. So many people I'd fuck. Yeah, like dead people. Ghost, ghost fucks. Yeah. Um, but it's, just, it's like too Napoleon. Much. Just like say I did it. So many people. <laughs> so many people existed before us. Yeah. It's hard to really nail. That's somebody true. Down. And also, we oh, don't know Cleopatra. who Cleopatra. 
Oh, yeah. I'd fuck Cleopatra. Cleopatra, coming at at ya. Cleopatra, (laughs) coming at ya. Um, Oh, my God. I love that song. Um, But, yeah. So, yeah. This is a big deal. People people have had this experience, and it's just, it's a lot. It's Mm -hmm. a big deal. Yeah. It's very intense. Um, And it's in in a lot of pop culture, too. Like, obviously, Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. But... And then we also mentioned ghosts. Okay, but they didn't fuck in that. They like made salad bowls. She just like felt his presence and was just like there. It was. I think it was like it, a, that is an what, analogy for oh, fucking. Oh, oh. Big, and also that is kind of what the amethyst lady says. It's like yeah, 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 yeah. Where okay, because like, I was always very confused. I'm like they're just making like a fucking teapot. <laughs> On the pottery How wheel. is this sexy? Yeah. <laughs> They're making a flower vase. I mean. Is this dick in it? I don't understand. If you, if you replace the pot, like the, the clay on the wheel with his dick. Then it's. Then it's. Ow. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. No. You know what I mean. Oh. Like she's really handling that oh. clay. Oh. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Um, so, but this has been going on for a really long time. Mm-hmm. Like. This isn't just some modern phenomenon. This has been a, this is a centuries old trope, like I had mentioned. It's, yeah, it's deep in our psyche somehow. Mm-hmm. Um, so this goes back to the succubus and the incubus, um, which mm-hmm. is centuries old, mm-hmm. um, and it's in pretty much every culture. Well, the succubus the- is centuries old. Incubus is like a band circa oh, the nineties. I love incubus because <laughs> that guy was hot. Oh. What was his name? Oh, God. What was his name? Brandon something? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. I can't remember. He was hot. Mm -hmm. I Uh, just remember everyone was obsessed with him, and I was like, he he has a great voice, too. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, so the the female demon is the succubus. That's the succubus is female. The incubus is male. Yeah. Um, And it... Basically, they seduce humans, um, and it's a religious concept, obviously, because... Aaron's notes go, the succubus and the incubus, the female demon and the male demon, respectively. (laughs) (laughs) That's a copy and paste. (laughs) (laughs) Um. (laughs) Respectively. Respectively. They respectively suck in ink. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but this, the succubus and the incubus date back like probably like to around. times. Yeah, Bible times. Yeah. Um, 14th century is when people start writing about it. Ooh. Or it's like in art and shit. Yeah, it's like fucking uh, the, like the ceilings of like. Yeah. There's, it's like, what are the alfrescos? Yeah, yeah. There's, it's not alfresco. That's it's dining just, alfresco. It's just a fresco. A fresco, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's in folklore, which probably goes back much further than 14th century, like probably way, way further back. Mm. Um, so the succubus most commonly seduces men through intercourse. The succubus is said to take semen from the male for Mm. use in impregnating a woman. Um, like, I don't know if there's like a woman out there just like sending the succubus, like get this dude, like fucking jizz and I'm gonna... Or the succubus hat, like, or it makes like a half devil, half human baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, And then the incubus, much like the succubus, is said to seduce women into sex with the objective of impregnating the woman with its semen. Yeah, with the devil baby. Making a demon baby. Rosemary's baby. baby. Yeah. mm -hmm. Um, And yeah, so they're basically considered spirits or ghosts that have sexual intercourse with men and women. But it's like a sinister. It's not like what we were talking about earlier where it's like fun and fancy free. like consensual. Fucking Mile High Club. Like No, no, no. This is is like non-consensual. Evil. The entity shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, In Japanese folklore, the vampire Yuki Ona is said to sleep with men and kill them. Oh my God. Yes, bitch. Um, in Greek folklore, <laughs> L- Lamia is a shapeshifter who lures and murders men. Oh. And then apparently, according to the folklore, Merlin had a demonic, had a fucking incubus father. Merlin? Merlin. And then there's my girl, Lilith. <laughs> in, of it, the fair? Yeah, no. <laughs> Lilith was in Judaism. 
of the fair. No. <laughs> Why do I think that's so funny? I mean, th- this is what the fair is named after. Is this <laughs> oh, is Lilith? So it is Lilith of the fair. Of the fair, yeah. Um, okay, your girl Lilith. <laughs> my girl Lilith in Judaism. Uh-huh. She's Adam's first wife, oh. and she was like, "Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do whatever." you tell me to do, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want Uh because God made me out of the same fucking clay as you. Mm -hmm. You're not my boss. I'm going to fuck, I'm going to ride a dick however I want because he like was like, you have to lay under me. And she's like, bitch, no, I want to be on on top. top. Fucking reverse cowgirl. Yeah. Uh, You need to calm down. Also eat my pussy. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And he was like, what? No. Yeah. And so she's like, fuck you then. I'm going to go fuck the angel of death. (laughs) (laughs) He uses his fingers in all the right places. He has a real long tongue too, bitch. Mm -hmm. Um, So, and I mean, technically he's like Satan, but not really. And because Jews don't believe in hell. So it's like, he's like the angel of death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So she's like, I'm going to go fuck this guy Mm -hmm. and I'm going to leave. And so she leaves and she's like, bye. And she becomes like the proto succubus. Like she is considered like evil because of this. Because Be- she fucks. Because she fucks. Fucking double standard. It's bullshit. Oh my God. And she was like made from the same clay as Adam. So she's like equal. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, I'm not going to be subservient. And so she goes out and she's like, I'm just going to go fuck dudes. Yeah. So it's the folklore or whatever the biblical bullshit mm-hmm. is that she would go out and just fuck dudes. Oh my god, to I love birth Lilith. demons. Oh my god, yeah. So fucking, that's why we have demons. Apparently. That's why we have the Lilith affair. Yeah, and that's Dude. why we have fucking Paula fucking Cole. Yeah. Laundry. Well, you go have a beer. <laughs> Where is my John Wayne? Where is my prairie sun? Where is my happy ending? Where have all the cowboys gone? Yippee hi, yippee hey, yippee hi, yippee hey. I am wearing my. But you don't, but you don't even know this way. It got really share, real share, real fast. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god! Oh my god! I almost just pissed and drooled. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking Lilith, man. Fucking Lilith. This, I like found out about this when I was converting to Judaism and I'm like, well, I'm, I'm naming like every <laughs> child I have after, I don't Lilith, care. If, Jack <laughs> Lilith. Just, just, that's a secret middle name. <laughs> 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 oh, Whatever. Man. She's fucking cool. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I love <sighs> Lilith. Oh, I love Lilith. Um, so yeah, she's like the the first like succubus basically. Oh my so god! So that's where it all comes from. It's like this dumb fucking trope. Um, no, that it's not. It's so fun. It's the fun. trope is fun. The trope is fun. But it, it does make you think like, oh why? Uh, honestly, I think it's all about like sexual empowerment and freedom. Yeah. Which, whatever. I I, I had in the notes maybe we talk about amethyst again because, um. I wanted to talk about like the phantom pregnancies, but we already covered that. Mm -hmm. Um, Great. We covered it when it was more relevant, Mm -hmm. but I did want to say that I did find something fun. And that is that there's this band called the Claypool Lennon Delirium. Okay. Whatever that is. I, those are certainly words. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, are they, I don't know. The string cheese experience or whatever. What is that? The the string cheese incident. Yeah. 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 It's like kind of jam bandy, but like, more psychedelic. It actually was fine. Like the song I listened to. Was but, it 18 minutes long? No, it was like a normal length song. <laughs> um, but they fucking wrote a song called Amethyst. What's her last name? Road? Realm. Realm. <laughs> Road. <laughs> like Abbey Road. I said Ruby Road. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amethyst Realm. Fucking, that's a song that they wrote. And my fit. Fa- okay. 
this song is all about her life and how she okay. fucks ghosts. Okay. And my favorite lyric from it is, the game she played was dangerous. This kind of love is vaporous. Because <laughs> it's like a ghost and it's just like energy and like oh i get it oh my god i was like that's very fun and then it even alluded to this thing which i so this was wild because i watched an interview with her about like how she first started fucking ghosts and it was like her first ghost boyfriend Mm. experience which by then it was like she'd had she had been dating only ghosts exclusively for like 20 of them or whatever yeah 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 and she was talking about like how in the early days of like when she was just like discovering she was into ghosts was she lived in a house with a boyfriend, but he was gone all the time. Okay. Yeah. Like, like she wasn't getting attention. Yeah. He was gone for like three weeks at a time on doing Again, work. Trash. <laughs> Her human physical boyfriend, trash. Yeah. Um, but she like sensed a presence in the house and it was like always in the guest room is like where it was strongest. Mm. And so, like, one day she, like, put on a negligee. Negligee? <laughs> negligee. Yeah. <laughs> a negligee. <laughs> That's a good rap name. Um, <laughs> and then she, like, went into the spare bedroom and was like, take me. But then nothing happened. And he, uh, like, got shy. Okay. Or they got shy because they're not a he or she. I think they're just, like, a, a, like a being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just are. Yeah. And so... Then, like, they didn't come to her. And, like, she said as she was, like, drifting off to sleep is when she felt, like, the presence and, like, a hot breath and, like, touching and, like, stroking and things happened. And then they, like, fucked and she loved it. And then this was, this affair was going on for months. And her boyfriend came home early one day. Day earlier than he said he was going to be home. And when he pulled into the driveway, he saw a dark shadow fucking on her like in the spare bedroom oh my god and like saw the like outline of the ghost person and like went in was like you're cheating on me and they broke up and it's like what i don't know anyway that's also in the song wow (laughs) i need to listen to this song it's trippy you'll think you're high yeah i mean it's it definitely yeah yeah, i mean it's a claypool and delirium classic so (laughs) I am wearing my (laughs) new dress tonight, but you don't, but you don't even know it is me. (laughs) I'm going to fuck this ghost while you're gone. (laughs) While you go have a beer. (laughs) 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 Do 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 me, do do me, ghost. How does that song start? I don't even know. Something in your 57 Chevy. (laughs) You've been dead for years. Oh my god. Like, (laughs) you something. You. you Oh, God. So, moving along to the next part. Yeah. Why do people have this happen? What is the why? Why? What is the impetus for this? Attention. <laughs> Only if you go on fucking morning talk yeah, shows yeah, yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I True. Bet people are out there fucking ghosts. ghosts and don't Dan talk Aykroyd about it. didn't talk about it till whenever he talked about it. Well, Kesha. He put it in the fucking movie. Oh, yeah. Fucking Anna Nicole Smith. Everybody that's like... Famous. If you're famous, I'm. Well, they talk about, about it eventually, yeah. yeah. But if you're like a normal everyday person and you fucked a ghost, like I don't think you're out here in these streets like yelling from the rooftops. I fuck ghosts. True. Yeah. You know, you're just like carrying on, and you're probably maybe you're, you've had this experience and you're kind of embarrassed. Yeah. I don't know. There's probably listeners out there that have had experiences. I'm not gonna, you know, shit on anybody's yeah. uh, experience if that's what they they they're doing. Good for like okay. I I feel like if uh, I just feel like if you think this is happening to you, that's wild. You should probably like talk to a professional about this. I'm not saying there's anything 
It could just going be, on upstairs. It could be a physical thing. Yeah. You could be having an issue that you need to like work out. Right. It could be a, a manifestation. A of, manifestation of stress, a of repression, repression, something, something, weird. something's going on. Yeah. But I will say, where on the other hand, and this is before I even like got to the research of this being a fetish, I totally think that's real. Oh like, yeah, yeah, that's a totally separate yeah. Like thing. if you're into like if if like imagining fucking ghosts is what Hot. you get excited about, or like you role play that. Oh my god, amazing! This is your best time of year, and you should love it. You should get so into oh. it because there's like ghost stuff everywhere. Yeah, you could make you could. Make your partner wear a sheet and they just put a hole where their dick, privates yeah, are. Yeah, yeah or, their dick or, or their or vagine. vagine or their butthole. Like, yeah. you put a hole where the hole is or whatever you want to get well, down line with. It, you know, line it up and have some capture. Oh my God, I fucking love it. Yeah, like get some mood lighting in there, light yeah. some candles. I love that. Yeah. And that's where I'm like, like on make, board. A, make a summoning circle. Like, oh do a whole fucking thing. Like, a whole sage ritual. your house, but like, sage it with some, sage it with the intention of like yeah. only letting the sexy spirits stay. That's right. Get rid of the other ones. Get rid of the ones that are going to be problematic, rude, body shamey. Those ones can fuck right like, off. Like, slap some lube on the fucking sage. It might be dangerous. I don't know <laughs> if it's flammable, but. Or, you know, maybe if you breathe that in, you might die. I don't oh know. Oh, my God. We don't know. Look into it first. Yeah. Then do that. Because yeah. then I'm here for that. It's the other part where I'm like, people, like, wholeheartedly feel like this is something that they're experiencing. And then I'm like, yeah, I the ex- feel like the, the phenomen- something's the, off. The phenomenon is something different. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Fe- the fetish side love of it. it. Love um, it. It's so yeah, exciting. I might even get I into might it. Even. I don't know. I don't know. It's I just, might like just, it. Just, I think more I'd be super... I'm like not a ghost person. No. I would love it if Pete maybe was a vampire. Oof. Yes. Right? Yeah. What were we... The fetish is great. The fetish is great. Yeah, yeah. I like the fetish part. Um, Oh... And then what else, what else could it be? Okay. Uh, I think, so I was also thinking maybe it's like one-upmanship. <laughs> like, okay, you know how... This makes sense though. This makes sense. You know how like when people are like, I saw a ghost and then it's like they get all of the attention for the 10 minutes they tell, tell, tell that story and like people are like very into it. Even like especially in high school, I feel like we had a friend that had like a haunted house. I was talking to Sandra earlier uh-huh. about it. Our friend had like, which she was like, no, I think maybe your house was haunted. And I was like, no, it was like bad energy between like her and her dad. Oh, <laughs> for sure. They just like sure. hated each other and it made the house feel very bad. Also like it was that thing of where when you're – like, like a, a teenage girl. Oh yeah. You like, yeah. You ha- there, there's that energy too. Also that. Yeah. Where, there was just bad energy in the yeah, house, mm-hmm. but I don't think it was like ghost energy. No. But a few people, a few friends at the time said they saw ghosts. Anyway, what I'm saying is people, it's like, oh yeah, I saw a ghost here. And then you're like, oh, oh, I didn't see it. And then in your head, you're like, oh man, how do I like one up this? And then you're yeah. like, oh, I fucked it. <laughs> Like we had a sleepover and like yeah one of one of our friends could have been like whatever I sat I on its face I wasn't scared of that ghost I yeah. fucked that ghost I fucked that ghost <laughs> I fisted. way to flip it and reverse it yeah you know? that's what like, I'm saying do it do whatever you gotta do yeah um yeah um and then what else what what uh, could it be another reason well we kind of talked about like earlier how I think also it could just be like. First of all, all these people are like, it was the best sex I ever had. I think they're masturbating. Mm-hmm. You know your own body the best. Yeah, like, yeah. you you do your thing. And I think it's like a way of justifying maybe masturbating, but like making it feel less weird, which adding a ghost to anything does not less weird it. Right. It's just <laughs> maybe there's like so much shame involved. Right, it's in, shame. It's and, a shame game. Yeah, and it's like you couldn't possibly – be giving yourself any kind of pleasure. Like you have to have like some other thing involved in it. It, 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 Yeah. That's some deep shit. It also might be like this, um, um, like a, like a exercise of the mind where like, I didn't think this was real. I think I talked about this recently, but I didn't think this was real when a girl in high school told me that she could like orgasm by like rubbing her boobs. I was like, that's a thing. Turns out it is. Dude. I had a friend. I had a friend recently corroborate that. Oh yeah. Wow. What a superpower. But anyway. But I was thinking like, oh, if people could do that, maybe people can just like concentrate so hard 
Yeah. That like they don't even have to touch themselves. Oh yeah. Oh no, that's a thing. Yeah, I know. But that's like what a superpower. But I'm saying like these people have that superpower. Yeah. And maybe that's how they're explaining it. Or or they don't even know that they have that. And they don't even know they have that. They don't even know that they have that. And they just feel like uh, so many things are happening to their body at once and all they're thinking about is fucking. They're not even touching themselves. They're just like, what if I was fucking right now? And then they're like, oh my God, I'm like and they're coming. not they're not letting themselves ha- like take the credit for it. right their own pleasure they're like they have to like displace it to something else yeah because it's still shameful or something i don't know and i'm saying embrace it one two make yourself a cool suit like a spidey suit <laughs> like make yourself a cool suit right i'm just thinking it that it's like cr- crotchless like a crotchless <laughs> spider man <laughs> unitard or something i don't know oh see i'm thinking it looks like the spider-man costume but you know how his eyes are like black but uh-huh. it's just like two vaginas <laughs> or a butt vagina eyes. vagina, <laughs> vagina eyes. i know, i mean it's it's pretty uh, yeah yeah i don't, I don't know. know it's intense yeah do is there anything you think it is i just think like if somebody has to have like in in their mind that or whatever, if they're yeah, having yeah. this experience or it's just like, it's such a powerful emotion that they're having or, you know, part of their brain that's having this yeah. experience and it's so real and they're like, yeah, I'm fucking ghosts now because men are so trash. Like, because <laughs> fucking that fuck boy Bryce <laughs> keeps like ghosting so yeah. you just get a real ghost to come and make you come yeah you know like chad isn't doing yeah. it anymore well Ch- well chad just is such a piece of shit and yeah he makes you feel terrible and also so when he why? fucks you he doesn't even look you in the eyes and he doesn't even care where your clitoris is or that one exists like he gets his shit done but yeah you are left to like go masturbate in the bathroom mm-hmm. afterwards so with his toothbrush yeah <laughs> God willing. Um, <laughs> but yeah. And it's not even electric, so you have to work oh. really hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why bother? Because uh, <laughs> it's Chad and that guy's a fuck boy. <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I think it's just easier for people to say that they're fucking a ghost mm-hmm. rather than maybe a fuck boy. And maybe it's fun. Who maybe knows? it's fun. I'm Hey, whatever. No, yeah. I just think, oh, I don't know. It still is a little, it's a little wild. Well, what I worry about is people isolating themselves from, mm-hmm. from, you know, friends and family over this ghost, this relationship yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh, fair. Yeah. So that's but the like, only thing. But like, you can go wherever. Oh my God. But I just mean like, okay, there you're like, so maybe you get like amethyst fucking realm Yeah. and you get so invested in this relationship and people don't understand it or they're just like. That's cool. I just don't think I can talk to you anymore. Yeah, and yeah, And then yeah. they slowly back away. Yeah, because she, she uh, – I think, like, one of the people, like, interviewing, like, the dude was like, oh, but, like, so he's an old, like, in, an old ghost or – I forget what he called him, but he was like, oh, an he's, ancient, like, an old yeah. – Yeah, like, an ancient spirit. Uh-huh. So, like, does he go to the movies and stuff? And she was like, yeah, we went to the zoo the other week. <laughs> And he was like, what'd you do there? And she was like, we looked at the animals. <laughs> like, what you do at a zoo? Yeah. But it's like, oh, I guess he gets out. <laughs> but still, yeah, whatever. No one can talk to him. So it's like you can't have dinner parties and introduce him to your friends. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's just you and him against the world. And maybe that's fine. But mm. yeah, we I don't know. know. Um, yeah. I oh, don't know. oh, my God. Okay. This was what I thought was going to be the best ending. But then it wasn't because I saw in an article that there is a website where you can summon a succubus or an incubus to fuck you. And it was called, um, oh, summon, summon succubus or something. It was, it, it doesn't exist anymore. Okay. So it doesn't matter what it was called because I tried to go to it because I was going to try and see if we could summon one while we were here or two, I guess. I mean. I don't want your sloppy seconds. I got the house to myself the next couple days. So, um, well, I think we, I, this site doesn't exist anymore. So we need, I think we should just make 
a mobile app for this. Oh my god, yes, like, like for a da- like a dating app, like, like a dating app. Oh yeah. yeah, like a Tinder, but for ghost dick, like or yeah, a vagina just to summon to or summon butts. a succubus or an incubus. Yeah, a succubus. <laughs> um, what would we, we, we call we need, it? Well, I have a few ideas. Mm, some of them probably not as good as others. Um, ghost Tinder. Mm. Not catchy. Enough. Not catchy. Um, suck suck in my bus. <laughs> <laughs> suck my bus. Um, ghoster, like where you, you know you take the, you just have the R at the end. Um, like roller ghoster. Yeah. <laughs> of love. <laughs> like it's like tender. You know how tender doesn't have the E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 ghoster. ghoster. Like just R. Ghoster. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. Um, my incubi. <laughs> <laughs> like my like Cupid. Okay. Hello, Cupid. Okay, Cupid. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. Okay, Incubi. Yeah. <laughs> um, hot spectral. <laughs> Spirits only, like farmers only. <laughs> you don't have to be lonely. Spirits only. <laughs> um, and that's all I got so far. Oh my god, I love it. Um, I don't know. Oh my god. What, do you have any? Um, no, I don't have any, I don't think. I'm still thinking of Paula Cole lyrics. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I think we should stop. I think we've... We've it's, covered it. Yeah. Oh, my God. I didn't even see you wrote these there. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad I didn't look. Good, good, good. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, <clears throat> thank you guys for listening. If you are fucking a ghost, let us know. Oh my God. Don't let me know. I'll be like, what? I want to know. Yeah. How's that ghost dick? Oh my God. <laughs> or ghost vagine. How them ghost titties. How's those ghost holes? You know what I mean? Ghost holes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know which one you're fucking when you're fucking a ghost hole? Or is it, is it just like a Sunday surprise? Is it beyond any hole right (laughs) is it (laughs) um and by hole i mean your hand filled with lotion because you're masturbating (laughs) they are not we don't know we don't know Uh, all right well um why don't you give us five stars and a review on itunes why wouldn't you (laughs) if you've made it this far why not christ um, Lilith, you know Lil- what I mean. I'm changing the name of this podcast to Lilith. Yeah, Lilith Fair. Fucking Lilith Fair. <laughs> Am I right? Oh my god. Well, you guys, thank you so much. Yeah. Follow us on social means. DTFU podcast everywhere. Oh my god. Um. Yeah. All right. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done here. Um. Thank you. And you know what? Be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye bye. Ooh. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> That's a vampire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a ghost coming. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> Wait. Ooh. <laughs> I will do the dishes while you, you go, go wash your sheet. <laughs> Cause it's a ghost. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what if what if she actually was fucking John Wayne's ghost? <laughs> Where is my John Wayne's ghost? Oh, there he is. <laughs> All right, bye, bye.